So this is our patient. He's a 30-year-old male training for a triathlon. Um, he's had kind of this nagging pain in the left knee, kind of over the anterior lateral knee going on for 10 years. Very mild, essentially. Um, and then over the past couple of weeks, pretty moderate to severe pain where he actually stopped running for the past couple of weeks. Here we're going to go over some of the bursa of the knee. Here we can see uh, the prepatellar bursa and also the subcutaneous infrapatellar bursa. Also we can just appreciate Hoffa's fat pad, the knee capsule, medial retinaculum. Here on the medial aspect of the knee we can see the pes tendons inserting on the proximal medial tibia with the pes bursa underneath that. Here we can see the semimembranosus tibial collateral ligament bursa that drapes over the distal semimembranosus tendon. Here we're looking at the semimembranosus medial gastrocnemius bursa or your typical popliteal cyst. You can see it basically just kind of draping over the medial gastrocnemius muscle and tendon, concave lateral. Basically those calf muscles are translucent now. Now we're making those muscles opaque. Here we're looking at the lateral aspect of the knee where you can appreciate the biceps femoris tendon which we just made translucent and also that fibular collateral ligament, biceps femoris bursa, which you can see draping over the lateral collateral ligament essentially. Here we're kind of getting a close-up view of that bursa. And here we're focusing on a deep infrapatellar bursitis, which you can see the bursa was just enlarged, somewhat more lateral-sided, uh, which we saw in this patient. Here we are at 11.04. We can see a little bit of fluid under the um, distal aspect of the patella tendon um, that is compressible. Swelling in this region or not really? I think maybe a little bit. I feel like if you flatten it, you see a little maybe like bump where it's not, you don't see a bump on the right side. On like, the right like right around here? Right, yeah, right in this, yeah, right in that region, yeah, where your fingers. Mm. I feel like pain see, is See, I'm just seeing right. fluid, I'm seeing fluid right over here. Huh. Underneath yeah, I, here. But that bursa, the, that bursa does go up. But the it pain's doesn't. usually right where my finger is, I think. Is. So here we are at 1105. Again, we can see some fluid underneath the distal patella tendon. Distal is to the left of the screen where you can see the tibia. Here we are at 1105. Again, we're not seeing any fluid um, basically in the proximal aspect of the um, office fat. The actual patella tendon itself looks fairly normal. Um, may have a touch of thickening actually by the proximal patella tendon, maybe a touch of tendinosis, but I'm not very impressed by it. So now um, 1106, you can click. Lateral to the right of the screen. Uh, you want to click one more time, and we're going distally, just looking at the patella tendon. And again, you can see a little bit of bursal thickening, bursal fluid here, that infra, that deep infrapatella bursa, essentially. Here we are looking again. Um, you can see that it's compressible as well. We're at 1106. And here we're going to a sagittal view, and you can appreciate on the lateral aspect of the patella tendon, distally you can see this deep patella bursa. And here we are on the medial aspect where you don't see the bursitis.